Well, it's a special occasion when the first alert weather team is all together in one spot. And thankfully, this occasion does not involve a huge storm bearing down on us. Yeah, right you are, Dan. This is staying ahead of the storm. Hurricane season 2022, our special. Gabe Ross, I'm first alert chief meteorologist, Gannon Medwick. Claire Fry is inside. Where is inside? We're on Village Drive in Leland at the Ace Hardware, a weather radio purchasing and programming event. And meteorologist Eric Davis, we, we saw uh, holding down the fort back in the station with the day-to-day -day weather and even some rumblings in the tropics. So that's just kind of setting the scene. So it's been a busy afternoon here mm -hmm. in Leland so far. Yeah. Tell us about the purchasing and programming uh, from what you've seen. Again, we've been going pretty much nonstop since even before three o'clock. We had a line all the way to the front of the store. We were positioned back in the very back and they sold out of radios probably within five minutes. So it's been a very popular event. We appreciate everyone who has come by. Uh, but, you know, again, this is a very proactive kind of thing that we're doing, making sure we're not only ahead of hurricane season, but the next big storm that's going to roll through it. It's convective season after all. Yeah, that's right. So we want everybody to have a way to get a warning and a weather bulletin even when you're not looking for one. Yes. One comes to you. So Claire's inside actually mm -hmm. tackling some weather radios that were previously purchased. You can still come by and do that. Mm -hmm. We saw Eric a moment ago. We'll get to Eric with some of the day-to-day -day weather and the tropical outlook. But we want to get right to the special now. With any hurricane season, the first thing you want to do, the first box you want to check, is you want to know your risk. That means the danger mm -hmm. that you could be in as a major storm moves in. Here are some things to look out for as hurricane season begins. From new prescriptions to new pets to new construction, your situation, needs, and overall hurricane risk change from year to year. Of course, your property's vulnerability to the wide variety of storm hazards will be different in a single family home or here in your apartment or condo or an elevated beach home. In all cases, you'll need to update your tornado plan with a warning system like a NOAA weather radio and your WECT weather app. For a hurricane's straight line winds, hurricane shutters might make sense if you live in a heavily wooded area, for example, where tree debris might easily turn into projectiles. Freshwater flooding is a huge problem with Cape Fear hurricanes. If you're new to the area, ask a neighbor about the impacts and high water marks from recent benchmark storms like Florence and Matthew. This data can help you formulate both your property and evacuation plans. To these points, the Comprehensive Hurricane Center at WECT.com slash hurricane is also a great place to start and revisit. And while online, if you're concerned you're in a hurricane's storm surge zone, visit ncdps.gov slash knowyourzone. Storm surge is a notorious killer, just like freshwater flooding, straight line winds, and tornadoes. And never forget the risk of rip currents. It's the one hurricane hazard that can cause major problems, even when the center of the storm is thousands of miles away. All right, we're back in Leland Village Drive at the Ace Hardware for our weather radio purchasing programming event. Musical meteorologist here, Claire Fry with us. Uh, you were just uh, consulting with some individuals on their weather radio a few moments ago. I really was. I was helping them out and also programming their ready radios and answering their weather questions. One of the best things that you can do to make sure that you are staying ahead of the storm is making sure you have a preparedness kit at home. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I know you've been here before doing a mm -hmm. little shopping, so we want to get that, uh, get into that now. First alert, meteorologist Claire Fry, you're here to show us what items should go on that list. You want to make the list, you want to get the items, maybe revisit the list and the kit that you assembled last year. Here's this. The Atlantic hurricane season is almost here, and that means the time to prepare is now. That means getting a preparedness kit ready. Emergency management officials recommend building two kits. One to-go kit, which has three to seven days worth of supplies, and one stay-at-home kit with two weeks worth of supplies. Many of these items can be found at a hardware store, so let's go inside and see what we can find.
Some basic items to include is a multi-purpose tool. Of course, you will need flashlights or lanterns for your family, so be sure to grab some extra batteries. There is always a risk for injury, so have a stocked first aid kit ready to go. Another important item you need handy before the storm hits is a weather radio. And don't forget those household cleaning supplies. That's not all. Remember to grab paper products, utensils, and personal hygiene items. Remember, food and water are essential. Make sure you have one gallon of water per person per day. Include non-perishable foods that don't require refrigeration and pack a can opener. Lastly, put important documents, such as insurance policies, in a sealed waterproof bag. Keep in mind, each family's kit will be different because each family has different needs. That means packing medications as well, and don't forget about your pets either. As you just heard, Claire mentioned a weather radio as a critical part of your preparedness kit. When we return, Gabe will show you what it is and how to use it, how it works in conjunction with our app as well. Plus, we'll look at how to prep your house for hurricane season when we return. And welcome back to Staying Ahead of the Storm, our hurricane season special for 2022. Mm -hmm. Gabe, you're back with the one of the stars of the show, the Midland Weather Radio, fresh out of the box. These have been hot commodities here today, and if you weren't able here to make it out to get one of these, it's okay. There are going to be more in stock here at the Leland Ace Hardware here in the days ahead. But this really is an amazing companion piece to the WECT First Alert Weather app. It is, in fact, a Midland Weather Radio. This specifically designed to alert you to watches, warnings, and advisories on a county level. That's a little different than you're gonna find on your cell phone. Your cell phone, as you know, uses GPS technology, wireless technology to pinpoint to your location. So let's say someone's under a severe thunderstorm warning. It's drawn in a polygon, and if you're within that polygon, you're gonna get the alert. The weather radio a little different. If you live in the county, that the Polygon is issued for, all of these radios are going to go off. It's very helpful in tropical situations, ever evolving kind of situations as a backup to get those weather alerts. So it'll come in a box like this. Uh, I obviously don't have batteries in this for the time being. Some nice bubble wrap. It's got an AC power adapter to it, and it comes with three, and excuse me while I bend down and get my other model here, three double A batteries. This one uh, up and running, this one actually was sitting in our weather center for sure. a number of years, hence it's got a little bit of discoloration little to, aging it. to it. little aging to it. little aging to it. But if you've never set up one of these before, the instructions are extremely simple. They come in the box. Basically, you're just going to utilize the menu button and the select button in order to get from point A to point B. You'll want to make sure the time is set on it. And most importantly, when you set these things up again and you want to have the batteries in it ahead of time. Why? Because if you lose power, the batteries are going to be what keeps us going. And how many times have we seen that in some kind of tropical setting? That's right. It's good to have a backup. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. Like you said to the app, it is a backup in a broad sense. And so if you're in Brunswick County and you have your radio, weather radio program to Brunswick County, the alert will blare for a tornado warning. You'll check your app and then you'll say, OK, am I in the GPS location of the target zone? Maybe it's not you. Maybe that particular warning is for Calabash and then you can breathe a little easier or yeah. what have you. They work together. It's never too, you can never be too prepared yeah. in these, like you said, ever evolving tropical storm and hurricane situations. So exactly right. that's great stuff. You can get a portal to a place to buy that through the WECT.com slash hurricane website. Yes. So you can buy one and then program as you uh, so eloquently described. Yes. It's all a great piece to have in your home as you get your preparedness kit and weather radio together. Don't forget about the broader preps for your home for hurricane season. And for more on that, here is First Alert meteorologist Eric Davis. With what do you need to do to get your home ready for hurricane season? The start of the new Atlantic hurricane season is just weeks away. If you've lived in southeastern North Carolina for any length of time, you know tropical storms and hurricanes impact our region frequently. Now is the time to take steps to secure and protect your property before hurricane season starts. It is much easier to do these things now instead of waiting for the first storm to roll through. 
One of the first things you should do is to make sure your home is ready for the season. You should start with your roof. Make sure you patch up and repair any loose shingles since the roof is your first line of defense in securing your house from water and wind damage. Next, it's time to clean your gutters. Clean gutters allow for the free and unobstructed flow of water around your home and can be a big difference if heavy rain sets in. Next, you'll want to have a plan for your windows. Every year, more and more people install storm shutters. Of course, old-fashioned plywood also works as well. Make sure you purchase these items well before a storm and have a plan on how to get these items properly installed. At minimum, make sure you seal windows around your house with caulking to keep moisture out from wind-blown rain. As the storm gets closer, there are other things you'll need to do. Make sure you pack up or back up valuable pictures. Also, make sure you have important insurance policy information either printed out or accessible on your computer or phone. Next, make sure you have plenty of fuel for generators, grills, and of course, your car. Just prior to a storm, bring in or secure loose items from outside. Anything not brought inside or secure it has the potential to become a flying projectile in high winds. Finally, if you live in a flood-prone area, consider getting plenty of sandbags to protect your home from rising water. Fortifying your home now against moisture and wind will give you a big advantage if southeastern North Carolina is threatened by a tropical storm or hurricane. Weather radios keep coming in to the Ace Hardware on Village Drive in Leland. We're happy to help you program them or make sure they're programmed correctly through 6 p.m. And coming up next, we have a new hurricane season outlook complete with some of the latest models and give you an idea of what to expect in hurricane season 2022. That's still to come as our hurricane special staying ahead of the storm continues. Welcome back to staying ahead of this storm. Despite your best laid preparations, sometimes it's safer to leave during a major storm or hurricane than stay home. That's why you need to put a plan in place now in case you have to evacuate. Here's Gabe Ross with how to do just that. The decision to evacuate during a hurricane varies from person to person and family to family. Uh, to put it frankly, what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander. Barrier islands will issue mandatory evacuations, but for others, that decision to leave is optional. So knowing what's at risk, along with the needs of you and your family, are vital and should be weighed accordingly. But planning for the worst well ahead of time can and will help make the decision to leave a little easier. Most hurricanes approach the Cape Fear region from the south, so a good rule of thumb, west is best. Evacuating to a location like Raleigh or Charlotte are usually good ideas. Interstate 40 north of Wilmington and Highway 74 or 76 west of town are great routes. But storms that approach from the east, like Florence, Isabel, Fran, and Hugo, require a different plan. A north and south option are best in this case. Highway 17 south toward Myrtle Beach and Charleston are a good way to start, and Highway 421 north are good near the coast. Highway 701 and I-95 are good too if you live farther inland. Some other useful planning tips, draft a couple different ways to get from point A to point B in case your primary route is flooded, damaged, or even clogged with traffic. Highlight those routes on a paper map. Yes, they still make these, and you better believe they're a great backup in the event cellular service is limited or disrupted. Finally, give yourself a timeline, along with plenty of lead time to make your decision. The longer you wait, the harder it may be to get out of town. If you have family and friends in the direction in which you're traveling, uh, reach out to them and see if they're able to accommodate you and your family. That's pets included. It's not a situation anyone really wants to think about, but a little planning ahead of time will save you lots of trouble down the road. Gabe Ross, WECT News. And up next, I'm back with my new hurricane season outlook, what some of the national forecasters project for the upcoming months and the science behind their reasoning.
Welcome back to our staying ahead of the storm special 2022 hurricane season edition. Finally, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. What will the upcoming hurricane season look like? Well, for more on that, here's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with an updated hurricane outlook. NOAA has weighed in with its seasonal forecast and it meshes with that of some other skilled outlets like NC State University and Colorado State in pegging 2022 for above average tropical activity from total name storms to hurricanes and majors. You may be thinking, don't they always call for an above average year? Well, not always, but the consensus for all but two or three of the last 10 years was for above average activity and the Akin to that, we know we've had a rough go of Cape Fear hurricanes in that time. A big reason for the active outlooks is the AMO, or Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation. Basically, alternating windows about 30 years in length where the base temperature state of the Atlantic is simply more conducive to generating storms. And here in 2022, we're still in the latter phases of a warm or positive AMO. That's an active hurricane period that started back in the 1990s. I've also noticed the National Hurricane Center's detection of small, weak and short lived storms has increased with technology lately. So I think that needs to be said also. And as always, a huge piece of the Atlantic seasonal storm puzzle comes from an even bigger ocean, the Pacific. This year, the tropical Pacific is trending toward a cool La Nina phase, which usually means less aggressive upper atmosphere winds will streak over the Atlantic and less disruption for growing Atlantic storms. 2020 and 2021 were also La Nina years and, of course, a hyperactive time for Atlantic hurricanes. Not the best news for the East Coast and especially storm-weary Gulf Coast and Caribbean. But as the saying goes, no matter what a season produces as a whole, it only takes one. One big storm where you live makes all the difference. So let's all plan to stay vigilant and prepared just like always. No substitute for that. Vigilance, preparedness, don't judge a hurricane just by its category, all the rest of it. Good job, guys. Staying ahead of the storm 2022 wraps up. Thanks for joining us. WECT News at 6 starts right now.